Yeah. Yay. So it's a beautiful sunny Monday. Uh, Friday, not so much. But Friday was one of those rainy days that I love. It was not cold. It was dark. There were flash flood warnings. And um, I had three cancellations, which usually would upset me. But on Friday, I was grateful for it. I was happy for the time um, to myself. And um, I can hear that. And uh, I was um, happy to be at home. Um, by myself. Jim recently went back to work um, two days a week in person at the Whitney. And um, one of the things that the pandemic de has done is made our house smaller because <laughs> he's been working two days a week from home. My schedule is a lot more limited. So we're, and then Lucy, um, we're all together all the time. And uh, what happened was he went to work on Friday and I was at home by myself for the first time. And I don't know when, I can't remember the last time I was by myself in my house for a period of time. And it was so rejuvenating. Not that I did that much. I, you know, did laundry and things I usually don't like to do, but Friday, they seemed fun and healing and, um, by the end of the day, I was like smiling and happy. And um, it was, it was a, a, like a cleanse, I guess. It really, really made me feel better. Um, I, my horoscope today, um, I think it's from Daily Alms, like a yoga horoscope, um, was, uh, I loved what it said. Okay, it says, you could feel a little down today which might make you feel like retreating to a quiet place to be alone. Um, being sad or gloomy while uncomfortable might be an indication you need to take care and nurture yourself. So that really resonated with me. We have all had those gloomy days. Relaxation pose is a pose you might find can be a way for you to rest, recharge, and rejuvenate yourself. So, it's a breathing exercise, um, shavasana. Um, you'll recognize it. But I just thought, wow, this is, I don't know, sometimes you read something and it really resonates with you. To do relaxation pose, simply lie on the floor with your palms facing upward, breathing gently and rhythm rhythmically. As the breath enters your body, inhale, pulling bright healing energy in. And then as you exhale, picture your tension dissolving slowly into the earth. And this is a powerful pose. It calms, relaxes you, um, brings new energy. And by giving yourself the gift of healing energy, you'll feel better, more at peace. So my take on that is that be sure to take that time for yourself. You need it. Do that relaxation pose. We're going to actually do it before we start moving today. And just picture breathing in that positive energy and then just exhaling the tension into the earth and cleanse yourself, get back to that happy place and smile. All right, let's get started. To find your comfortable seat, and ground down and ground your sit bones lift your spine lift the crown of your head let your shoulders fall away from your ears and feel your body as heavy your head is light like a balloon let any stress, any tension, any anxiety you may have walked on the mat with melt away. Bring your focus between your eyebrows to your third eye, your Ajna Chakra, your seat of intuition, and settle. 
Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth with sound. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth with sound. Take a deep breath in to prepare for OM. As the sound of OM washes over you, go ahead and recross your legs. Maybe rock your weight from one sit bone to the other. Settling back into Sukhasana, your comfortable seat. Let's do Nadi Shodhana today, alternative nostril breathing. Even out our sinus passages, bring our breath together, and bring our energy together before we start moving. So take your right hand, bring it in front of your face, palm facing your face. Curl down your pointer finger and your middle finger. So you have your thumb, your ring, and your pinky free. Okay? Take your thumb, close off your right nostril. Inhale, left. Close off with your ring finger, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off with thumb, open ring finger, exhale left. That's one round. Inhale left. Close off, open thumb, exhale right. Inhale right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale left. Inhale left. Close off, open thumb, exhale right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, right. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale. Inhale, left. Close off, open thumb, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close off, open ring finger, exhale. Release your hand. Keep your eyes closed. Come into that ujjayi breath. 
Breathing in and out through the nose. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart, Anjali Mudra. If you'd like to set an intention, I invite you to do so now. Maybe there's something you'd like to bring into your life to make things simpler. Maybe there's something you need to let go of. Maybe someone in your life needs a little extra love, care, compassion. Bring this to mind. Carry it with you throughout your practice, singing your energy that day. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. Slowly in your own time, make your way onto your back. Palms are to the sky. Feet are relaxed and propped out. Eyes are closed. We start our practice in relaxation pose. Just clearing the body of any energy. We don't need starting your practice cleanse. So palms are to the sky, eyes are closed. Take a big deep breath in, breathing in positive energy. Exhale tension into the earth. Inhale bright light. Exhale tension into the earth. Inhale, healing energy into your body. Exhale, letting go anything that doesn't serve you into the earth. Deep breath in, bright shining light. Exhaling darkness into the earth. Deep breath in, healing energy. Exhaling tension, stress, anxiety into the breath. Coming into your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out through your nose. When you're ready, roll over to one side or the other, and just make your way into child's pose. Big toes are together, knees either together or apart, depending on how your hips feel this morning. Fingers stretched away from your body. Breathing in and out through your nose using ujjayi breath. Perhaps you rock your head from side to side. Activating your third eye, your intention. Maybe you just sit in stillness, relaxing into your ujjayi. On your next inhale, lift your head, take your right hands, palm is to the sky, slide it underneath your left armpit, bring your right ear to the earth. Inhale your left elbow to the sky, exhale, open up your arm, fingertips to the sky. Turn your palm away from you, bend your elbow, back of hand to lower back, or maybe you take the bind today, reaching inside that right inner thumb. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, release your left hand back to your child's pose. Right hand meets it. Stretch your fingers away from your body. Maybe claw the mat here, making it a little more active. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale through your nose. Good, on your next inhale, lift your head slightly, slide your left hand palm to the sky underneath your right armpit. Left ear comes to the earth. Inhale your right elbow to the sky. Exhale, arm opens all the way up. Turn your palm away from your body. Bend your elbow back of hands to lower back. 
Or maybe you take the bind, scooching your fingers inside your left inner thigh. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Release your right arm back to the sky. Make your way back to your child's pose. Big toes together. Knees are wider now. And then on an inhale, I'm going to come up to a wide-legged arms farther out, not stacked, tabletop. So go straight from your child's pose into your tabletop. So your arms are more forward than they usually are and your knees are wider, okay? From this funky tabletop, we're gonna go into a funky up dog, okay? So on an inhale tabletop, and then exhale, I want you to pull forward, straighten your legs. Maybe your thighs come up off the earth, maybe not, okay? And then inhale back to your funky tabletop. Exhale back to your child's pose. Okay, this is our flow, all right? Inhale up to funky tabletop. Exhale, funky up dog. Inhale, funky tabletop. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, funky tabletop. Exhale, funky up dog. Inhale, funky tabletop. Exhale, child pose, last one. Inhale, funky tabletop. Exhale, funky up dog. Inhale, funky tabletop. And then exhale back to your child pose. Good. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. On your next inhale, I want you to come into traditional tabletop. Wrist stacked under your shoulders, knees stacked under your hips. Inhale, lift your head, drop your belly button down. Exhale, drop your head, spine to the sky. Inhale, lift your head, drop your belly button down. Exhale, drop your head, spine to the sky. Inhale, lift your head, drop your table, drop your belly button, cow. Exhale, drop your head, spine to the sky, cow. Inhale, lift your head, drop your belly button, cow. And then exhale, drop your head, spine to the sky, cat. And then tint your fingers. So come up. On to spider or tree root fingers, spine is to the sky, so you're in a cat with tinted fingers. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. And then on the inhale, I want you to rise to so your knee stand. You can clasp your hands, just kind of roll out your wrist and let go. Just twist your hands one way, then the other. Taking that tension off of your wrist. Good. And then come to stillness. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. We're going to make our Charlie's Angel Gun, Arrow Mudra. Everybody knows how to do that. Interlace your fingers, pointers together, thumb together. And then inhale, Arrow Mudra to the sky. Good. On exhale, let's lean to the right. Side body stretch. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, release your hands. So you can either put your hands to the earth to do this or just step your right foot forward. Working on our balance a little bit. 
form of a low lunge and then inhale your palms, your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, it feels good, lean slightly forward. Maybe you find a back bend here in your low lunge. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, straighten that front leg. Leg straight, scooches forward. Maybe your toes come back to your face, Ardu Hanuman. So you can have hands on your hips. Or if you're feeling more stretched out, spider your fingers to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward. Good. Round that front foot. Arms come up. Come back to your low lunge. And then step your right knee back next to your left. Yeah, good. Second side. Again, you can place your fingertips on the earth or you can just bring your left foot forward for a lunge. Arms to the sky. Maybe you lean forward, opening your psoas, your hip flexors. Maybe your heart is open and your gaze is up. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. Release, straighten that front leg. Maybe the toes come back to your face. Maybe hands to your hips. Or maybe spider fingers to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Bring your hands to your hips. Step your left knee back. Hip lift distance away from your right. Bring the soles of your hands, the palms of your hands to your waist. Fingers towards the earth. Roll your shoulder blades together. Open your heart. Look up. So this may be your camel right here. All right? If you want to make it a little more accessible, if you're going all the way back, tuck your toes under. Again, inhale, open your heart, pull your shoulder blades together. Maybe you lean back, hips come forward. This may be your camel right here. If you want to take it all the way, maybe you release your fingers to your heels and head goes all the way back. And then maybe you release your toes to the floor. I'm not going to do that. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, rise, exhale, release. Plant your palms, big toes together, and then just pull back to your child's pose. You want to work on your thyroid. Bring your chin and chest to the earth, soft face forward. You want to make it more grounding, relaxing. Bring your third eye to the earth. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath in. Good. And when you're ready, come back to your tabletop. Walk your knees back about three inches. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Do what feels right here. Bend your knees, tell your feet. Finding your way into your first down dog. When you're ready, come to stillness. Look forward. Step or jump your feet to meet your hands. And then exhale, fold into your step. Inhale, come up to half back. Exhale, fold, release your head. One more time. Inhale, come up to half back. And then exhale, fold into yourself, release your head. Slowly, mindfully, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll up to standing, making your head the last thing to rise. Ta dasana, mountain pose. Feet hip width distance apart, hips over ankles, shoulders over hips. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Let's breathe, get used to standing. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. 
And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. Jiva Mukti Sun Salutations. On an inhale, hook your thumbs like a butterfly, soft bend in your knees. Reach up, arch back, open your heart. Exhale, knees bend, palms face each other. Arms circle all the way around until they interlace above your lower spine. Inhale, straighten your legs, interlace fingers to the sky. Exhale, release your fingers, drop your palms, step your right foot back. Left foot meets it, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, pull forward to plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees, drop your chest, elbows stay tight, drop your chin, booty up, toes tucked under. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, seat to heels, back up, downward facing dog. On an inhale, pull forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, look forward, step your right foot forward. Exhale, your left to meet it. Inhale, hook thumbs, soft bend in your knees, reach up, arch back, open your heart. Exhale, knees bend, arms circle all the way around until they interlace above your lower spine. Inhale, straighten your legs, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, release your fingers, ground your palms, step your left foot back. Right foot meets it, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, pull forward the plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees, drop your chest, drop your chin. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, seat to heels. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, pull forward to plank. Exhale, Chakarangit and Dasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, your right foot to meet it. Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Hands come to high prayer, take a deep breath in. And then exhale down, prayer at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, exhale, deep breath in, deep breath out, fill your lungs every time. One more deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, inhale, come up to half back. Exhale, ground your palms, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step your right foot forward, left at a 45 degree angle, and rise. Warrior one. Vira Vidrasana one. Exhale. Palms go right back down. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward and rise. Warrior one. Vira Vidrasana one. Exhale, palms go right back down. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, look forward. Step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Exhale, forward. 
Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, mountain, Tadasana. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to half back. Exhale, ground your palms. Step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step your right foot forward and rise. Warrior one. Vida Vitrasana one. Exhale, palms go right back down. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step your left foot forward and rise. Warrior one. Vida Vidrasana one. Exhale, palms go right back down. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog to stay five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good. Inhale. Look forward. Step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Exhale, fold into yourself. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, mountain, Tadasana. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more big deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale your prayer hands up to the sky. Look up. Exhale, fold into yourself. Ground your palms. Step your right foot back. Left foot meets it. Downward. Facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. On an inhale, pull forward to plank to stay. Belly button into the back body. Press down on every finger pad. Heels press the back of the mat. Soft case forward. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Replace your right palm with your right elbow. Replace your left palm with your left elbow. Forearm plank. Again, soft case forward. Hips the same height as your shoulders. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Lift your right leg about three inches. If you'd like to, you can bring your left hand tinted. If you want to do it farther, you can bring it beside your body ah, and clasp your hands. <laughs> Not me today. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Drop your foot, drop your knees, release your toes. Drop your hips. Ah, <laughs> speak smooth. Pull your shoulder blades together. Open your heart. Back of head reaches to back of neck. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. In and up through the nose. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips. Back to forearm plank. Replace your right elbow with your right palm. 
left elbow with left palm. Plank to stay. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, replace your left elbow, left hand with left elbow. Replace your right hand with right elbow. Forearm plank. Lift your left foot about three inches off the mat. Maybe you tent right fingertips, or maybe you bring them beside your hip. <laughs> Wherever you are today is where you're supposed to be. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Release your toes, release your knees. Untuck your toes. Ah, oh, bring your hips to the earth. Pull your shoulder blades together. Open your heart. Back to Sphinx. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Good. Replace your left elbow with your left palm. Replace your right elbow with your right palm. Pull all the way up to plank. And then dip up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Look forward. Step or jump your feet to hand. And then exhale, fold into yourself. Inhale, soften your knees, rise all the way up, high prayer, look up. And then exhale, Anjali Mudra, prayer at the heart. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. I actually want this to be more of a bear pose, some people call it. So as if someone was standing in front of you holding your arms, so your arms are parallel with your shoulders. Weight is in your heels, wiggle your toes, belly buttons into the back body, and heels energetically press to the outer edges of your mat. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, bring your weight into your left foot. Inhale, rise, bringing your right thigh parallel to the earth, foot is flexed, standing staff. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Bring your right foot to the outside of the left knee. Hands come to prayer at the heart. Take a deep breath in and exhale, fold into yourself, standing pigeon. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, slide your right foot next to your left and fold forward. Uttanasana, standing forward bend with crossed legs. Release your head, release your fingertips to the earth. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your weight into your right foot, your front foot, left toes to the sky, standing split. So your fingertips can stay on the earth. You can grab your ankle with one or both hands. Or you can bring your arms up beside you like wings. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good. Release that back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Make sure you can draw a line from the back of your front heel to bisect your back arch. 
And then inhale, rise into your warrior two. Vira Vajrasana two. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Flying warrior, palms to the sky. Inhale, rise, straighten that front leg, pivot on your heel, both toes towards the edge of the mat, feet are parallel, hands in high prayer. Good, release, bring your hands to your hips, take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, fold forward, prasarita padottanasana, standing forward, straddle fold. <laughs> So you can bring your hands to your hips. You can reach for your big toes. You can walk your hands back through your legs. We're gonna do um, headstand on the next round. So you can wait to do that or you can do two, whatever feels right to you. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, good. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Frame out your big front foot, your big front foot. <laughs> Frame out your front foot, your little petite front foot. Good, and then step back to high plank. On an inhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right palm. Exhale back, high plank. Inhale, right foot to the outside of the right palm. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, right foot to the outside of the right palm. Uttana Pristasana, your version of lizard. This may it be it right here. Maybe you replace your palms with your forearms. Maybe you drop your back knee. Maybe you take the bind, bring your right arm underneath your thigh, bending your elbow back and hand to lower back. Swimming your left hand around, interlacing your fingers to the bind, and then maybe you lift your back leg. Inhale, exhale, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, and release. Good. Ground your palms, lift your knee if it's grounded, and step back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump feet to hands. Exhale. Inhale your hands to prayer. Soften in your knees, rise up, look up. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, prayer at the heart. On an inhale, come to chair pose, Utkatasana. And then make it into bear pose. Arms parallel with your shoulders. Heels energetically pressed to the outer edges of the mat. Belly buttons into the back body. Wiggle those toes. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Standing staff. Weight comes into the right foot, lift your arms up, lift your left thigh parallel to the earth, foot is flexed. Deep breath in, deep breath out, relax your shoulders. Deep breath in, deep breath out, belly button into your back body. Deep breath in, deep breath out, good. Bring your foot to the outside of the right knee. Hands come together, high prayer and then pull them down, prayer at the heart. Take a deep breath in, and then hinge at the hips and fall forward, standing pigeon. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Slide that left foot to the outside of the right and fold forward. Uttanasana with crossed legs. Release your head. Maybe your fingers touch the earth, maybe not. Deep breath in. 
Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Bring your weight into your left foot and inhale those right toes to the sky. Standing split. Again, your variation. Tinted fingers on the earth. Grab your ankle with one or both hands. Or you can bring your arms beside your thighs like airplane wings, more like jet wings. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, release your fingers, bend your front knee. Back foot lands parallel to the back of the mat. Make sure you're on that imaginary balance beam and then rise into bit of a Jasana too. Warrior two. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good flying warrior. Inhale those hands to high prayer, pivot on that heel until feet are parallel with each other. Let's scoot back a little bit. On my mat, hands are in high prayer. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale your hands to your hips. Good. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, prasarita padatanasana. Again, yogi's choice. Reach for your toes. Walk your hands through your legs. Or maybe you want to bend your knees, ground your head. Palms come into the isosceles triangle in front of your head, coming into tripod. Well, right now, coming into a tripod. And then if you want to go up into headstand, feel free. Making this your inversion. Or maybe you want to go into traditional headstand, legs up the wall. Or maybe you want to stay in Prasarita Padatanasana, your choice. Breathing in and out through your nose. Feeling all that positive energy coming into your body. And just taking your time. Making your way back to Prasarita Padatanasana from wherever you ended up. Or maybe you were still there. Bend your front knee, walk your palms forward to frame that front left foot, and then step back to your plank. Inhale the left foot to the outside of the left palm. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, left foot to the outside of left palm. Exhale back, high plank. Inhale, left foot to the outside of the left palm. Uttana Prisasana, lizard, your version. Maybe this is it. Maybe you go down onto your forearms. Maybe you ground your back knee. Maybe you take the bind. Bring your left arm underneath your thigh, back of hand to lower back. Swim your right arm around. And then maybe you lift your knee. Wherever you are, let's breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good. Wherever you are, round your palms and step back to your plank. Good. Lift your hips, find your way to downward facing dog. You can stay here, or you can take a vinyasa. Inhale, pull forward to plank pose. Exhale, tuck the leg to dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, adho mukha sanasana. Downward facing dog. On an inhale. Lift your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull forward, tap your right tricep. 
And then inhale back, three-legged dog. Exhale for the twist, pull forward, tap your left tricep. Exhale back, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull forward, knee to nose. Exhale back, three-legged dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward between your two front palms for a lunge. Good. Inhale those hands to the sky. High lunge. Back, back foot, back heel is up. Knee over ankle. Gaze is forward. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <clears throat> Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. Bring your weight forward into your front foot. Bring your back <clears throat> leg parallel to the earth, standing staff. Right hand comes to right hip. Left piece fingers grabs your left big toe or your ankle, your calf. Or maybe you skip this part and just do the balance. Inhale, lengthen that leg. And then exhale, bring it out to the left. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release hands on hips. Bring that leg behind you, arms to airplane wings, warrior three. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Bend your front knee, ground those back toes. Heel is lifted, and then twist open towards your front bent knee. So for me, let's see, twisting to the right. Palms face the right. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, peaceful, twisted lunge. Back hand reaches for the back thigh. Left arm up and over, heart is open. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, heart roll your hands down. Plant your palms, lift that right leg up. And if you want, bend your knee, bring it behind you and open up for a wild thing. Or maybe not. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Maybe you stay in three like a dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Ground your palm, flip back over. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Sanasana. Let's take a few breaths here, regroup. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, fill your lungs all the way up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, foot is flexed. Exhale, pull forward, tap your left tricep. Inhale back, three-legged dog. Exhale for the twist, pull forward, tap your right tricep. Exhale back, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull forward, knee to nose. Exhale back, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull forward, plant your foot between your two front palms, back leg, back heel is lifted. And rise, high lunge, onto my asana. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Weight comes into that front leg. And inhale that right thigh parallel to the earth, standing staff, foot is flexed. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, 
Deep breath out. Release your arms. Left hand on your left hip. Right piece fingers grab the big toe at the ankle or the calf. And then inhale, extend. It can stay in standing staff. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your right leg to the right. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Come back to center. Release your hands. Step that leg back parallel to the earth. Arms from the airplane wings. Vida Vajrasana three. Warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Step those right toes back. Heel is lifted. Arms to the sky. Back to high lunge. And then inhale, twist to the left, twisting through your front to your front bent knee. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Arms parallel to the earth. Palms face the left. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. In and out through your nose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Peaceful twisted lunge. Left hand reach for the back thigh. Right arm up and over. Heart is open, gazes to the sky. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Part roll your hands down, frame your front foot. And then inhale to three-legged dog or step those left toes behind you, opening into your wild thing, Jamat Karasana. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Wherever you are, come back to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Be in Zane Down Dog. Go to Charles Pose or take a vinyasa. Inhale, pull forward to Plank Pose. Exhale, Chaturanga and Dapsana. Inhale, Up Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Good. On an inhale, look forward. Step or jump your feet to meet your hands. And then exhale, fold into yourself. Hands come to prayer, stop, and then your knees rise all the way up. And then bring your hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Good. Take a few steps back on your mat. So you have about three or four feet in front of you. We're going to go into crow after Malasana. Let's breathe first. Hands at prayer at the heart, Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale, deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, heel toe your feet, the width of the mat, toes slightly out, lengthen your spine, take a deep breath in, and exhale down into Malasana, Mali Asana, elbows. Open your knees, spine is long. This doesn't feel good, just go to Baddha Konasana, bottom on the floor, soles of feet together. Sweet, breathe in and out of our nose, releasing what doesn't serve us from a place of groundedness, feet on the earth. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, release your hands, ground your palms, down dog hands, fingers wide, your palms are about to become your feet. Lift your heels, heel to your feet to hip width distance apart. I found recently that if I do crow with my toes together, it seems to 
be easier for me to balance. I don't know why, just an option. Bend your elbows, walk your feet forward. Look forward. Bring your knees onto your triceps or into your armpits. Roll your weight into your hands and then maybe you lift one toe, maybe you lift both and maybe your toes touch. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in. Inhale, exhale, fly back to your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, child's pose. Woo, so grateful for that right now. <laughs> Breathing in and out through your nose. Coming back to that Ujjayi breath. Deep breath in. <clears throat> Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. On an inhale, rise. Let's come to seated. With the soles of our feet together. Cobbler pose, Baddha Kanasana. Spine is long. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale with an extended spine, fold forward. Let go, maybe close your eyes. Just let go of how far you think you need to fold. And just listen to your body and keep your spine long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Bring your knees up. Find your sit bones, those major bones in your bottom. Boat pose, Navasana. You can hold the back of your thighs, shins parallel to the earth. Palms can face each other. You can straighten your legs, full boat. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five, and release. Ground your feet, hip width distance apart. Palms are beside you. Palms are behind you. <laughs> Outer shoulder width distance apart or shoulder width distance apart, whatever feels better for you. We're going into altar. Fingers point towards your body. Oh. On an inhale, lift your hips parallel to the earth. If it feels so good, okay, release your head. I've been doing it lately with my head up. So whatever works better for your body. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Good. Release your seat, lengthen your legs, toes are flat. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale, fold forward with a lengthened spine. Maybe you're really stretched out now. You grab your feet. Pachimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Tense your fingertips right uh, behind your knees. Point your toes and inhale, lift your legs about three inches. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five and release. Woo! <laughs> Bring. Your foot, right foot to the inside of your inner thigh. Left foot is flexed, Jani Shashasana. On an inhale, bring your left arm inside your left foot. 
and then exhale, turn your heart to the sky. Right arm comes up and over, reaching for those toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Exhale, release. Back to Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Extend your other leg. Bring your foot to your inner thigh. Extended foot is flat. Bring that arm inside the extended leg. Put your shoulder blades together. Heart is open. Other arm reaches up and over. Johnny Shushatsana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and rise. Exhale, release. Good. Bend your knees. Ground your feet. Hip width distance apart. Palms face each other. And then slowly, mindfully, vertebrae by vertebrae, lower yourself all the way down. Arms are beside you, palms to the earth. Feet are hip width distance apart, heels are near your seat. Inhale, lift your hips, your middle back, and your upper back. Interlace your fingers beneath you, roll your shoulder blades together. Press down on your feet to lift your hips. Deep breath in, deep breath out, <clears throat> deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Release your fingers, lower your upper, your middle, and your hips. Windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Good, come to stillness. Second back bend. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your middle back, lift your upper back. Interlace your fingers beneath you, roll your shoulder blades together. Press down those feet to lift your hips. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Release your fingers. Lower your upper, your middle, and your hips. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Third back bend, you have choices. Chill asana. Lay on the mat, soak up the good energy. Always a good choice. You can do bridge again, or you can do full wheel. I'm gonna talk you through full wheel. Hi but I want you to do whatever's best for your body, okay? Inhale your hands to either side of your head, exhale. Inhale up to the crown of your head, walk your hands back to either side of your ears, and inhale, rise. Five of your own breaths, wherever you are. When you come down from your last back bend, bring your knees into your chest, give them a hug, rock side to side, massaging your spine. And then I want you <clears throat> to release your legs, windshield wiper your feet and let them drop out. Bring your arms to zombie arms and twist your hands on your wrists. One way and then the other, maybe make fists and then starfish hands, just releasing any last stress and tension in your wrists. Let your arms float to the earth, palms to the sky, in a position of receivership, reminding us 
<clears throat> that the universe wants us to be happy. It's always sending us good energy. It's always available. It's up to us to bring it into our lives, to accept it. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Shavasana. <clears throat> Inhale, positive energy. Exhale, tension into the earth. Inhale, bright, shining, positive energy. Exhale, tension into the earth. Inhale, positive energy. Exhale, negative energy into the earth. Inhale, bright, shining light. Exhale, darkness into the earth. Inhale, powerful, positive energy into your body. And exhale anything that's serving you into the earth. Come back to awareness. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. And bring your arms up over your head and take a deep stretch from the tip of your fingers to the tip of your toes. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. Rock side to side. Massaging your spine. Thanking yourself for showing up on the mat today. For working so hard. For doing something so good for yourself. And everyone around you. Release your hands. Your knees. Roll over to whatever side resonates with you. And pause. Feel the earth beneath you and feel grounded, connected to that grounding earth energy. In your own time, make your way to a comfortable seat on the mat with your eyes closed. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart, Anjali Mudra, if that feels right. If you'd like to help me seal the practice by sending out peace, to every sentient being. Let's chant three shantis together and then a final hum. Take a deep breath in. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Oh. Namaste. Happy Monday to you. And Monday too. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Gracie. Bye, Gracie. Did you see her? She was coming in that she oh, gave it, <laughs> At different times, I'm like, you know, if I'm, if I'm looking for a pose, you know, if I'm if I'm doing this right, and I'll say, there, there, there she is. You know, like not now, but in general. She's so cute. I don't know where she went. I didn't see Billy today, but Gracie was walking back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. Bye, John. Thanks. Bye, Jim. Bye, Molly. Y'all have a good day. Have, have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm leaving me.